Hello friends, welcome to the help videos of feed for Google Shopping app by Simprosis. In this video, we will show you the most common reasons for the Google Merchant Center suspension, and, their solutions. Before moving to the video, please subscribe to our channel to get the tips and tricks, about digital marketing, and, press the bell icon to get notified instantly once we upload any new video. All the suggestions given so far are purely based on our experience of dealing with various kind of suspensions in the prevailing policies of the Google and advertising guidelines of respective country of targeting. All these are just suggestions of what kind of solutions may work in different situations. They may not work in the present day scenario. All the review decisions are completely dependent on Google's own policy, we do not guarantee any kind of success if Google does not revoke the suspension in the review request. You can go through this video to avoid the possible suspension of your account. Let us start with the most common mistakes that leads to suspension of Google Merchant Center account. Scenario 1. Google Merchant Center suspended due to insufficient contact information or omission of relevant information. Obviously, you must share your sufficient contact information on your website, in such a manner that, it is easy to access. So, if you don't put any two of the three below listed contact details, either on your contact page, or, in the footer, or, at any other prominent and easy to locate place on your web store, you are most likely get suspension on your Google Merchant Center. A contact us page or a footer section of a website must contain at least two information as shown here. Physical address. Contact phone number. Email address. So, just a contact form, or, misleading contact information is not going to help. You will have to add your contact information as discussed on your website's contact us page and in the footer, if possible. Scenario 2. Google Merchant Center is suspended due to, missing legal pages like missing return, and, refund policy. Please make sure to add all the legal policy pages in the footer section to your online store as per applicable local regulations and legislations of your target market that can be easily accessible to all the visitors of your store. Required policy pages will be Privacy policy Return and refund policy Failure to clearly and conspicuously disclose all related conditions before, and, after purchase, or, if the return and refund policy is unclear or missing, or, if it is not easily discoverable, will also lead to suspension of Google Merchant Center account. Please make sure to follow the below checklist points while creating the return, and, refund policy. What is the time frame to take advantage of the refund option, 14 days, 30 days, etc. Who pays the shipping cost on returns, customer, or, merchant? What is the policy for defective, or, broken products? What is the policy for products which are not broken but the customer wants to return because they changed their minds about the purchase? Is the return policy in the correct official language of the country targeted? Terms of service Shipping policy. Contact us page. We just don't have to add these pages but have to make sure policies are in compliance with the advertising and other laws of the country of target. If they are not in compliance with such laws then, your merchant center for that particular country may get suspended. Scenario 3. Google Merchant Center is suspended due to missing info regarding available payment methods. It is also necessary that your store lists all the accepted payment methods prior to a user starting the checkout process. You can add accepted payment methods icons in the footer section of your store, or under the Buy Now, or Add to Cart button on the product page where it is easily and prominently displayed to your visitors. Scenario 4. Google Merchant Center is suspended due to destination URL down, or, landing page not working. Your online store, as well as product landing pages which are submitted in the feed need to meet some basic requirements laid down by Google. Some of them are as follows. 
Google Shopping doesn't allow the promotion of content which is not easy to navigate or many pop-ups are appearing on landing pages. Each product in your product data should be the most prominent product on its linked landing page. Your product landing page must show all key elements of your product which you have submitted in the feed to your Google Merchant Center like Product Title Product Description Price Product Image Add to Cart Or Buy Now Button Availability Etc. Please make sure that content on your landing page is consistent and the landing page links are functioning and loading properly for all locations as well as for various browsers and devices, regardless of the target location. Shopping ads must lead users to products, or, landing pages that are clear, and, professional in appearance, relevant, useful, and, easy to interact with. You must not submit the landing page URL to Google Merchant Center which leads to a page that is under construction, or, return status code which starts with a 4, or 5, such as a 404 page not found error. It is also very important to optimize the page loading speed. And, it is highly recommended that the whole page should be loaded within the interval of 5 seconds. Please try to go through all the requirements for the landing page for Google Shopping Ads. We have also added a help doc link from Google for landing page requirements for shopping ads, in the description of this video. Scenario 5. Google Merchant Center is suspended due to affiliate spam, abuse of the network, or user cannot purchase, or, insecure checkout. Google wants to ensure that each and every Google Shopping user must be served with useful, and, relevant content that can lead to high-quality user experience. Hence Google doesn't allow landing pages that are purely designed for redirecting users to any other pages. Your online store must have the complete checkout process, every shopper, or, user who visits your website must be allowed to make purchases on your store. Please make sure that the checkout process in your store is straightforward, and, easily obtainable. Use a secure checkout process that is protected with a valid SSL certificate for providing the best purchase experience to your users. Please also make sure users can click the browser back button to return to the previous page at any point of time. Some examples of landing page which are not allowed under this policy are as follows. Sites lacking a functioning buy button. Landing pages redirecting users to the home page. Online stores that only allow purchases that are strictly business to business are allowed to make a purchase by a certain group of users. We have also added a help doc link for checkout requirements and best practices from Google, in the description of this video. Scenario 6. Google Merchant Center is suspended due to inaccurate price status, or, inaccurate availability status, or, inaccurate condition. Please ensure that product availability, product price and product condition in your product data must match with your landing pages as well as in the structured data markup. Because when any online shopper clicks a shopping ad on Google they expect to see the same availability, price, and product condition on your landing page which they have seen in the shopping ad. If they find the different price, availability, or condition then users are likely to bounce back resulting in unsatisfactory user experience while costing you in terms of paying for wasted clicks. These issues may have emerged if there is a problem with schema markup added to your store. So, please also make sure to add the correct schema markup for your store with the help of your developer. Follow the link appearing on your screen in the above i button to know more about schema markup requirements for Google Shopping Ads. Please also do not change the price or availability of your product on your landing page based on a user's location. Like if your store's default currency is USD and if any user visits your store from India it must show USD as price currency instead of INR. Google uses its own currency converter to show shopping ads when product feed for an additional target country is submitted using your store's default currency. 
Like if you are also targeting Canada but the feed is submitted using USD currency then Google will show product price in CAD currency while showing shopping ads for Canada. It will also show the price in USD so the shopper can have an idea about what they will need to pay exactly. Google considers each unique product or variant you submit as a separate entity, so make sure to pre-select the correct product variant on your landing page URL by submitting variant ID parameter with link attribute. Please also do not redirect to any other product, or, variant automatically, if the product, or, variant which is submitted in the feed goes out of stock at a later stage. Don't submit the price for a single item in the feed to Google Merchant Center if a minimum number of items is required to purchase on your store. Scenario 7. Google Merchant Center is suspended due to inaccurate shipping costs, or, inaccurate tax information. Providing inaccurate shipping or tax information at a large scale can also lead to the suspension of your Google Merchant Center. Shipping costs or tax information are one of the main decision-making factors for online shoppers. So you must try to mirror the exact same settings for shipping and tax from your online store with your Google Merchant Center. If you provide lower cost in the feed then users are most likely to bounce back when they find higher costs at the checkout stage. If you submit high costs in the feed then you might get fewer clicks on your shopping ads because users are most likely to purchase from stores which are charging lower, or, no shipping, and, tax. If you can't match the cost exactly then provide slightly overestimated costs to Google that are somewhat higher than the cost you are charging on your website to avoid the suspension of your account. We have also included help video links for adding correct shipping and tax settings to your Google Merchant Center for your Shopify store. Scenario 8. Google Merchant Center is suspended due to delivery issues. Please ensure that all the products you advertise are available for door-to-door -door shipping to your targeted countries. In some countries, collection point with certain providers is also sufficient. Google Shopping Ads policy does not allow curbside delivery under which large or heavy items that are usually shipped using freight trucks are placed at curbside at the end of the customer's driveway. So in order to advertise such large products through Google Shopping, you must provide all users within a targeted country the option of home delivery. If you are selling any products which could be only delivered using the curbside delivery, and, if Google does not allow to advertise them, then you may entirely exclude them from the feed, or, you can also exclude such products from delivery in a shipping service using, no shipping, option under shipping settings. Scenario 9. Google Merchant Center is suspended due to inappropriate images. If Google detects that a significant number of your items have images that are violating the image requirements, Google might suspend your Google Merchant Center account. Please make sure all the images you used in your feed do not have any overlay like watermarks, brand names, logos. Providing clear images of a product helps online shoppers because it will clearly indicate what exactly is being advertised. Some examples of images that violate Google Shopping product feed requirements are as follows. Placeholder images. Generic images which shows lifestyle image. Contains service-related information for example, extended warranty or free shipping. Includes call to action like buy now. Watermarks with promotional elements, or, names, and or logos of merchants. Borders. You can also enable the automatic image improvements feature in your Google Merchant Center which was recently introduced by Google, which will try to automatically fix these images by removing promotional overlays. Please also note, as this is an automated process, it is not 100% accurate. You can enable it by following these steps. Sign in to your Merchant Center account. Click on the Tools icon. Then select Automatic Improvements under Settings. On the following page, click the Image Improvements tab, and, adjust your settings for automatic image improvements. If this option does not work, you will need to replace the images for your products in your online store, or, need to submit custom image links directly to your Google Merchant Center. Scenario 10. Google Merchant Center is suspended due to misrepresentation of self or product in trustworthy promotions. Google collects and reviews information from multiple sources including your website, product listings, accounts, and third-party sources to determine whether or not a merchant or site is untrustworthy. 
If your Google Merchant Center account and or Google Ads account are suspended due to this reason, Google must have found that experience offered through your website is unsatisfactory or fraudulent for Google users. Google might have detected some unusual activity with your Google Ads account or might have detected some suspicious payment transaction with your credit card billing. Google will not be able to provide pinpoint details for the exact cause of the suspension due to the sensitive nature of the review process. So we recommend you to go through the verification process of your account, product data, and any other information against Google Shopping Ads policy. If you see any possible violations then try to modify it, so it will abide by all of their policies. You can also try changing your credit card details which you are using for billing purposes under your Google Ads account. Further, we recommend you to run Google search ads if your budget allows you for some long time and once you have good Google Ads history with good ad spend. Then Google might be able to reinstate your account or allow you to create a new Google Merchant Center account for your store again. Other common reasons for Google Merchant Center suspension. Asking for unnecessary personal details before allowing visitors to make purchases or take any action. Store is password protected. Store is not globally accessible or might have blocked for a few selected countries or IP locations. If your Google Merchant Center is suspended due to any reason or policy violations, you will receive a notification email from Google with further required details. Also, messages regarding shopping ads policies and account suspension are temporarily stored in the message archive icon on the top right corner of the impacted Google Merchant Center. Requesting a re-evaluation of your Google Merchant Center. Most accounts are reviewed within three business days after the account re-evaluation request is raised, but some can take longer if they need a more complex review. If your account is not reinstated after your first request for review, you can make a second request for review at any time with some better clarification of steps taken to rectify the errors, or, after making another round of corrections. If your account is not reinstated even after the second request, this will trigger a one-week cooldown period during which the review button will be blocked. Your account will remain suspended during this period, and, you won't be able to request another re-evaluation. This one-week cooldown also applies to all the subsequent requests for re-evaluation. You can see the end date of any cooldown period by navigating to the Diagnostics page of Google Merchant Center account, and clicking the Account Issues page. We have also added a direct link for raising a request for re-evaluation of your account in the description of this video. Hope this helps. Please subscribe to our channel if you are interested to learn more about Google AdWords and other kinds of digital marketing. We are working to start a completely free course on YouTube that will help you learn digital marketing through Google, Facebook, and other marketing channels. Please refer to our other related help videos. See you again in another video.